Welcome to Penguin's Learning Emporium. Today we're going to be making bakute. These are the ingredients that I will be using. And the ingredients are quite mild because it's meant for children to eat. For the sauce, I'll be using soy sauce. So just a couple of rounds of soy sauce. And sweet black sauce. This one you can just add like one or two rounds just for the coloring. And just one teaspoon of salt. You can always adjust based on your taste. And I added some black pepper as well. as well as four pieces of star anise. I will be using some red dates and some goji berries as well. This is half a bulb of this garlic. Some sliced up dried mushrooms. After that is done, you can put in your ingredients. All except for the pork belly and the sauce with which we will be putting in later on. <coughs> I also added in some of the water from the dried mushrooms just for the extra taste. You can see that after it starts boiling, more of the gunk comes out. So you just need to try your best to get as much of this out as possible. And after that's done, you can add in your sauce. And if it sticks to the bowl, you can just scoop some of the soup up into the bowl and try to get all of it out. This is after everything is nicely boiled up already. For extra ingredients, I added in some fujok. My husband really loves fujok. And I also added in some lettuce. We made some vegetables in a meal. what it will look like. Everything is nicely boiled up and after it's done, you just get some rice and you can just scoop it all up into your bowl. And at the end, let's see what we can get. That is a really delicious hearty bowl of bakute and rice. Do keep in mind that I cook this for my children, so the taste of the herbs is a little bit mild, though it's still packed with flavor. You might want to add just a little bit of extra salt for yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. For more videos, please subscribe to Penguin's Learning Emporium.